something better fucking work. All right, so here's the deal. I live in a community called Cambridge Bay, which is like super far north, like insanely far north. There's no road access. We're on an island in the Arctic Circle in northern Canada. There's like 1,800 people that live here. As you can imagine, the internet here is bad. And when I say bad, I mean really bad, like insanely bad. Check this out. Come on, give it to me, baby. Come on. 1.1, 1.2, 1.0, 1.02. Five, oh, under one. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Look at this, all right? 1.07 down, 0.68 up. Can you imagine trying to upload a YouTube video at 0.68? Yeah, I've done it. It takes like 16 out. It's insane. On top of the internet being insanely slow, I also am paying 80 bucks Canadian a month for 50 gigs. Like, and that's not 50 gigs unlimited. Like, it's not like you, you get up to 50 gigs and then after 50 gigs, you're like throttled. No, at 50 gigs, you're done, you're cut off. All you can do is like either wait for the next month to roll around or friggin' top up your, your data at like 10 bucks, like literally $10 a gig. So that's the situation right now. But then Starlink comes along and they're like, yeah, you're getting 1.07 down. We can give you 150 down. And not only that, we can give you a terabyte of data every month and we can do it for 150 bucks, right? Like that to us here up here in the Arctic, that's a game changer. Like that's insane. Not to mention the, like, you know, the fact even for gamers, like the ping's not that bad. Like it is truly a game changer for what, like what you're getting for the price. It's insane. But, but here's the thing. Does it work as advertised? Like that's what we got to figure it out. Cause everyone, everyone hears that and they hop, like I hopped on it. Right, everyone. I go to the post office and like everyone's getting their Starlink packages. Like we we just started getting them up here, maybe a week or two ago, and everyone is hopping on that boat because they hear this promise of like internet that's kind of close to comparable with down south. But does it work as advertised? And that's what we got to figure out. So is that that's currently? Yeah. Everybody is getting this obstructed. So I'm online but it shows obstructed and then it tells you expect an interruption every three minutes or sometimes it'll say five minutes. And this is what led me to be like, why is why am I obstructed? I'll move mine higher. Everybody else is doing it like, Oh, we'll move it here. I'll move it here. It's still obstructed, but it's not actually obstructed. This, this error, everybody knew about getting that. And it's related to in look raw fine, um, where it's related to the constellation. It's got to be like, because we're hitting, you know, nine different polar orbits and we're, it, there's a bit of a gap between them. The model of, uh, of dish that we have can only connect to one sat at a time. Mm. If you got the business version or like the professional version, it can connect up to like five satellites simultaneously. So it actually minimizes these outages as a result. So this tool on the Starlink app shows whether or not there's something obstructing the signal from reaching your dish. The problem is that for everyone up here, their app is showing that there is an obstruction to the south when there may not be one whatsoever. So regardless of the location of the dish, regardless of any actual physical obstructions, the app is showing that there are connectivity issues to satellites when they're south of your location. And what that's resulting in, as we'll see, is consistent outages in your internet access. Here's the stats page and it graphs outages. So look at, you can see the frequency of my outages right now, actually quite often. Every three minutes. And if we go to outages, it shows a barrage of, <laughs> you know. And that's a duration, okay, 17 seconds. Yeah, out. so you can do like filter by anything five seconds or greater. Oh, right, okay. And you can see how often it's happening. Wow. And this is consistent, like everybody's seeing this issue. So what we're seeing in this table is that your internet connection is cutting out about every three minutes for a period of anywhere from 10 seconds all the way up to two minutes. So these outages will have an effect on video calling. They're going to have an effect on streaming, on gaming in particular. In the case of streaming, you might be okay because the internet is fast enough. You will have buffered beyond where those shorter outages are going to cause your media to pause. But for some of the longer ones, you're definitely going to see your Netflix show stop for a minute while the signal is reacquired. And that's going to be super annoying. In the case of large downloads, which is primarily what I'm going to be using Starlink for. And I think what a lot of people are going to be using it for up here. 
you're really not going to see a huge impact from these outages. And the reason for that is that when you get a loss of signal for whatever it is, 10, 20 seconds, your download's going to pause and then it's going to resume and it's going to keep going like nothing ever happened. You're not going to have your download canceled and you're going to have to go restart it or anything like that. And the total time that you have a loss of signal right now with all these outages is actually not that significant compared to the time that you're connected. So it's really not going to increase the duration of your download by a significant amount. And compared to the download times that we are used to, it's still unbelievably fast. Like it's incredibly fast compared to what we're used to, even with these outages. So the utility for someone that is just trying to download large files is huge still. So there you have it. No, it does not work as advertised right now. The speed is fantastic. So far, there's no issues in the cold. It There doesn't seem to be any major issues with the hardware, but there are major connectivity issues that are gonna impact how a lot of people use their internet, right? Video calling's impacted, gaming's impacted, and streaming in some cases is impacted. But why is this happening? And is it gonna be like this forever? So we all got an email from the Starlink team asking for feedback on their space, quote unquote, space laser system. And what they're talking about is kind of an inter-satellite, a laser communication system whereby they can bypass the need for a ground station. And that effectively allows them to provide service in extremely remote areas where they're not gonna install a ground station. What this email said is that they're looking for feedback on any kind of connectivity issues, exactly the stuff that we're seeing now and indicating that this is likely the result of this technology being very, very new and them just starting to implement it in our region for the first time really in history this technology has not been used before along with this they're indicating that by the end of the year any kind of connectivity issues that we might be seeing should be vastly improved so that's one factor and that's fantastic the other is that there's actually not that many satellites right now servicing the polar regions so as they launch more satellites this issue should also continue to improve. Okay, so I of course will set my Starlink up. It's not set up right now, but when I do set it up, I'm expecting to see the exact same issues that everyone else is seeing. But I'm also expecting that those issues are gonna diminish and hopefully resolve themselves within the next few months, six months, whatever it is. I definitely will make another video or, or another couple videos. We'll see um, as things change and improve, hopefully improve. I mean, maybe they're not gonna improve and or maybe they'll get worse, who knows? But I'll make another video um, with a couple of updates. Maybe I'll do a video on like the install or something like that. But you know, hopefully at the end of the day, Starlink really does become that game changing system that everyone's hoping it's gonna be. Like it really, you know, not to diminish the impact that it's already having, like even just the download speeds with all the interruptions, is incredible for people, but it's just not quite there and it doesn't quite have the functionality um, that everyone needs just yet. But hopefully it gets there um, because you know the impact that it's gonna have for people's lives up here is really tremendous. But thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.